Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Sean. So I'm a little groggy at the moment. I'm still trying to uh, wake up and get with it. Um, I'd say it was probably, I think it's roughly about 3 o'clock right now. So I woke up about 45 minutes ago out of recovery. I had to have a, I'll call it a microsurgery for uh, child prevention going forward. Uh, especially with for the reasons of being having, obviously, Olivia and now the twins. So we had always talked about two and now we have three. God bless all three of them. They're amazing. But three, we're officially done now. So... Right now, the number one goal is to get food. Um, I ate last night. It was like a Hail Mary. I put in a DoorDash, and uh, I wanted food. I was like, you know what? Let me get Taco Bell just because I can't eat until afterwards. And at this point, like I said, that was about 9.30 last night. Now it is currently, like I said, 3 o'clock. So I'm starving. I've been nauseous all morning. Um, so that's that. Uh, in regards to the procedure itself, um, it's pretty simple, straightforward, quick and easy. Um, went in, it was only like a, like a, like a 15 minute surgery procedure, whatever word term you want to use. Um, they, they had, they laid me down on the table, had me relax. Um, they put the oxygen on me and they started pumping in the, uh, the sleeping gas, which I think they said it was the propofil or the propofil, whatever that was. It was the, it was the same stuff that unfortunately, uh, doomed Michael Jackson with that whole doctor with that situation it was the same stuff. I think it's called the propofil. I think it was what it's called. And I was just going along. I was talking to the one nurse over on the left and the right. And then I woke up not realizing that I woke up. I heard them talking again. I heard another nurse to my left and another nurse to my right. And, uh, after about two minutes, I asked them, I was like, I was like, when are we going in? What's taking so long? And they're like, you're already done. And I'm like, wait, what? I didn't even realize I had passed out. Um, it was super quick. Um, so that was that part of it. And then when I woke up, in terms of the pain, no pain. I didn't feel any pain, any discomfort. Uh, was, I was able to function and move. Um, and they wanted to give me an ice pack and say, hey, just take it easy. Be careful. I was like, but I'm fine. I'm good. They're like, nope, just take it easy. Be careful. They gave me an ice pack. So I'm like, all right. You guys know what you're talking about. I'll listen. Um, but everything felt good. So um, I said for the next, what, three, four days, um, just take it easy. Specifically, the next 24 hours, be a couch potato. So I made sure that my wife, Christina, I made sure that she heard them say that three times. I'm like, I'm like, so don't do anything. They're like, no, nope, just be a couch potato. I'm like, yes. So now I can just chill and then just like play Xbox or like watch TV and not get yelled at. Um, I'll try to do stuff here and there as I can, but they said don't do anything regardless of what it is. Um, so that's, that's where things are kind of at at this point. Um, I know a couple of my buddies, they've gotten it done and they openly freely talk about it. Like, you know, and it's just like, mm. But it is what it is. So far, I feel good. They said, just be careful. You're going to have some possible swelling in the next day or two. Don't be overactive because at this point, they said what they do is it's just a small incision and they didn't use any stitches. They just kind of used like an adhesive glue. Um, so, yeah. So just, just got to chill. Uh, they gave me an ice pack. They said you can use the ice pack or if you got peas and carrots at home, like they always see in the movies and get some frozen vegetables. Here we go. Got to use some frozen vegetables. So we got frozen vegetables at home. Um, so like I said, I'm just going to 
take it easy and see what the next three or four do three or four days kind of playing out for me. Um, but yeah, our, our family is at a maximum capacity of where we want it to be. So don't want to do anything, um, further to get it to grow just because it's, it's, it's good. Five, five people, three mini humans with me and Christina, we're good. Then we got the pups. So, you know, you say five people, if you count the dogs, you got seven. So it's, it's a good size. We're good. There's no more room for expansion there. But, um, like I said, overall, the experience, it, it wasn't too bad. The, the, the doctor, he said, cause I'm a bigger guy. There are, he said there are like three different ways the procedure can go and be handled and addressed. Uh, he said, cause I am a bigger guy. Um, they recommended to put me, um, under anesthesia and sedate me. Um, normally you don't have to do that. Um, but when I told Christina, quote unquote, because I'm a bigger guy, she's like, what does that mean? I'm like, I don't know. That's what he said. That's what he's going to do. All right. So that's what he did. Um, it was pretty, pretty simple so far. So that is that experience. Like I said, I've, I've known others that have supposedly, um, I know a couple buddies that are thinking about it and looking into it. And I got a couple buddies that have gotten it done and they're like, yo man, it's, it's at first it's kind of weird, but once you get past it, it's, it's, it's not a big deal. You, you wouldn't even know everything's basically routine back to normal. So we shall see, but, oh my God, I'm so sorry. That tastes like that was a piece. Oh, you know what that was? Cause when I was in the recovery room, they asked me if I wanted anything. Cause right after, cause like I said, I had been nauseous cause I didn't eat anything. So they gave me cranberry juice and some famous, famous cookies. Those famous, famous cookies. That's what it was. I just burped. So right now we're at a uh, smash burger. No, we're at five guys. So we're at five guys. She went inside. She's going to pick it up. So I'm looking forward to having like a nice burger. Some of them large fries cooked in the peanut oil, hot dog, Coke. And then she's going to stop off into Trader Joe's. Um, and then she's going to get some nice little uh, mini hors d'oeuvres that you can pop in the oven for like 15, 20 minutes that are fantastic. Uh, we went to a friend's house for lunch last week and, uh, her friend heated up some of the, uh, some of the hors d'oeuvres and, oh my God, we've been craving those with, like with either like a, uh, pimento cheese with caramelized onions or like a feta cheese with grilled uh, onions on top. It's amazing. So that's what we've uh, kind of been craving, but, um, just do both of them in one stop as they're next to each other, but just wanted to fill you in. So enjoy your day and I will see you soon.